Ludwig. Damn. Yeah. Remember? Might have something <laughs> later. Remember that time Mordecai got shot in the shoulder and he just hid behind cover and threw Bloodwing out to face those bandits on his own? <laughs> uh, yeah. And Bloodwing just flew around and around in circles, not attacking anybody. And Mordecai was screaming at him, What are you doing, you coward? Get to killing! Blah, blah, blah. And finally, Mordecai stood up and out of cover. And Bloodwing went screaming down into the fray and killed all those bandits in a half second. Yeah, he wanted Mordecai to see him do it. Wanted to make him proud. And Mordecai was happy as a skag and slag, kissing his beak, scratching his neck. Yeah, which would have been cute if Bloodwing hadn't been covered in entrails. Ah, shut up already! I'm sorry about Bloodwing, soldier. But there's still more. Take this note to Thousand Cuts. You're going to deliver that note to a bandit leader known as the Slab King. Now, he used to be a part of the Crimson Raiders until his methods got too brutal. I didn't think ripping Hyperion officials limb from limb in front of their loved ones was an effective way to get into him. He disagreed. Still, he owes me a favor, and he can help us get past the bunker outside Control Core Angel. in that favor. So, the bunker. Now that you're one of us, my buzzers can help you take her down. Go tell Roland I'm in. Great job. With Brick's crew on our side, we should have an easier time getting past the bunker protecting Angel. Come on back and we'll see about getting through that door that'll only open for Jack. Let me get the door for you. I don't get it. Roland. Brick. Never thought I'd be back here. Last time we talked, you didn't sound too eager to see me again. Time's changed. We need all the help we can get. Even from a bloodthirsty psychopath? Who called you that? Jack? No. You did. Three years ago. Oh. Sorry. It's good to have you back, Brick. Good to be back. And kiss each other. <laughs> Seriously. Be honest, I got no idea how to get past a door that'll only open for Jack. Sorry to interrupt, but we've little time. Get to the City of Opportunity. To breach the I never thanked you for chambers, coming to Sanctuary. You'll need to be Jack. Don't tell Lilith, That means but passing I need a bio scan and speaking a password in his voice. If you can kill one of Jack's body doubles in Opportunity, I can get you through that door. <sighs> as much as I hate telling you to listen to her, Angel's the best lead we got. You already know not to trust her, but... Be careful. Once this is all over, you can settle down here. Sanctuary could always use a few more gun hands. To breach the final door to my chambers, you'll need to be Jack. That means passing a bio scan and speaking a password in his voice. If you can kill one of Jack's body doubles in opportunity, I can get you through that door. Or this. 
records audio. Jack loved to listen to the praise of his underlings. We need to create a voice modulator so you can speak in Jack's voice. Get to an info kiosk. Did you know that some people on this planet still believe in silly superstitions like angels, demons, and ancient alien warriors? We like to call them bandits. Yes, this is going to work. If I get a few more samples of Jack's voice, I can make a voice modulator for you. You need to get more voice samples from the other info kiosks. Did you know you're staring at the future site of the Opportunity Pleasure Palace? That's right, for a thousand bucks, you'll be able to spend an hour with Worker. a life-size likeness of... <laughs> I almost have what I need. Just activate enough. a few more kiosks. Is a hard your mommies and daddies gave up so your family could live an opportunity? Literally nothing! Your family is paid to be here! I'm the one who feeds and protects everyone! Remember, we should all love our parents, but love me more. Attach the pocket watch quickly! Great. Now, unfortunately, you will speak in Jack's voice until you reach the security door. I will tell you the password to open it at the appropriate time. This is interesting technology. technology? I wonder how... Oh, goddess. You seriously thought you could hide from me, Angel? Is that what you thought? Say goodbye to your friend, Angel. Say it! See you soon. You found a way past the final door to Angel's control core, huh? Well, she's kept up her part of the bargain, surprisingly. Time to return the favor. Come on back and we'll steal ourselves a vault key. This isn't a discussion. You're not going without me. Period. Look, I need you here, protecting Sanctuary. If this turns out to be a trap, I need you to keep these people safe. Is this because Angel told me not to come? It is, isn't it? Lilith, damn it, would you just trust me, okay? If you get killed, I'm gonna be really pissed. Noted. If you live, I'm tearing those clothes right off your body. Ah, Lilith, also, we're standing right also here. Also noted. Nobody wants to hear that. Go on. This is it, everybody. Lilith, Mordecai, you're protecting the city. Brick will provide air support from Thousand Cuts, and I'll climb up to Control Core Angel from the cliff face. Any questions? Yeah, why ain't I going? I gotta pay Hyperion back for Bloodwing. And you will, but for now, I need you protecting Sanctuary in case this is just another trap. You'll get your payback, Mordecai. I promise. Long as you say so, Roland. Vault Hunter, we have a shot at stealing the Vault Key and stopping Jack from waking the warrior. All you have to do is get past a force field that'll atomize you, destroy a bunker carrying enough firepower to level a continent, and get through a door you can't possibly open. That's his way of saying we're probably gonna die. 
It's time to get Claptrap to Thousand Cuts. We need him to shut down the force field. Make it painful, guys. This is gonna be fun! <laughs>